Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. And yes, my lovelies, I am still away for now. That's why you've got an outfit repeat. I know, a naughty little outfit repeater. The swans will hate me. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Nelly Galan will not see me at the pageant, girls. And with that, my lovelies, as you may be able to tell from the clue that is the title of this video, Titles are not a clue, Luxaria, get a grip. It's time for the Swan Girls! Another episode of the most bonkers reality TV plastic surgery show that, that has ever existed. That has ever existed, let's be fully honest, my love. The absolute content of this show is off the scale. In the last episode, we followed Cinnamon and Patty to some pretty dramatic reveals. You guys let me know in the comments as well that certain types of cancers aren't as threatening as others, but then some other people chimed in in the comments to notice that saying somebody is free of cancer after the doctor says that it's fully removed does not necessarily mean that you are cancer free in certain places around the world. For example, I think there was a comment from Canada saying that you need to have gone into remission for five years to be called cancer free. So it is kind of strange that here, on the swan, we saw that storyline. It does kind of make me even more question the integrity of the producers of this show and of the ethics of this show, realistically. It's kind of shocking. Kind of shocking, my loves. And to segue from that into something a little bit more lighthearted, you guys have noticed this as well, that Amanda has not caressed the banister in the intro of the last three episodes. I think we can all agree on there might have been a breakup between Amanda and her banister. Can you imagine I've just said that sentence? Amanda and the banister. It does definitely sound like a children's novel gone very awry somewhere, doesn't it? I don't know how I'm gonna tell my family and my friend. Hickory dickory dock, Amanda's Ooh. a banister! <laughs> Also in the last episode, we didn't hear a peep out of Dr. Hayworth. It's like he had vanished miraculously. No, I can't say that. <laughs> it's like he had vanished last episode and didn't do any work on either of the contestants. Now, and we can only really speculate as to why that might be. But my loves, today, are you ready for another episode of That's The One, Girls? Honestly, I don't know if I am. I hope that this episode is not as much of a roller coaster as the last episode because these are pretty exhausting to film, as you can probably guess. As you guys probably understand that they are pretty exhausting to watch as well. <laughs> well, my loves, are you ready? Get your beverage at the ready. Pop your ohringer directly into its little ohringer hole. Ohringusi. Oh, I can't say that. Oh, disgusting. And let's watch The Swan Girls, season two, episode six. Tonight on The Swan. Good evening, I'm Amanda Byram and welcome to The Swan. Amanda. The only show where ordinary... Is it pink or is it beige? Morris or Siobhan? Wow, okay. This is a little bit, uh, is it Mother of the Bride? Is that the kind of style this is? Well, maybe it's not quite Mother of the Bride. Maybe I don't really understand what Mother of the Bride is. What is that? Transvestite of the Bride? I swear, every time we see this room, this foyer, it gets busier and busier. How many things do we need in this foyer? Well... The only show where ordinary women get the once-in-a-lifetime chance to become beauty queens. Tonight, we bring you two unbelievable stories. Oh, but only just like one every woman episode. will be chosen to join the lucky five who have already qualified <gasps> for the The painting in the background has changed! Has it, or is it the other one next to her? All the angles are different and the lighting, look at that man, haunting man, it was man in the foyer with a swan girls. And hope to be crowned the, the swan. swan. Are you gonna caress the banister? Are you gonna caress the- Yes! She did it! She caressed the banister! She did it girls! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, swans! The swan girls! That was a lot. Good evening, experts. Knocked my hip out. Well, our first competitor this evening, Delisa Stiles, Competitor. Is a military... I hate the fact that they call them competitors. It's so disingenuous. Plastic surgery should never be a competition. How many more times do I have to say that, Amanda? I wonder if Amanda Byram is proud of being involved with this specific show. I wonder if any of them are now, actually. I wonder if now, because times have changed and we think that perhaps making women compete in a, a beauty pageant or whatever they call it, extraordinary beauty pageant, you know, ordinary looking women, blah de blah de blah. I wonder if any of the people involved with this are proud to say, yeah, I was involved with the swan, yeah. Well, our first competitor this evening, Delisa Stas, is a military Delisa veteran Stas. coping with her failing marriage. <laughs> Delisa, you've been chosen to be a swan. Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> 
My name is Delisa Stiles. I'm you 32 have a years old. Face. If oh, colony. If Doctor Dubrow suggests that she needs a brow lift here, well, we can have a fight. <laughs> Time for a brow lift. Oh. I'm 32 years old. I grew up in East Texas and East I'm Texas. a captain in the United States Army Reserve. Go. I think a lot of times I get misunderstood because I'm pretty- Who's this man? If they just like brought in one of the assistants or interns and be like, can you just pretend that you're doing like army training? Yeah, go. Just one man, just training one man in the reserves. Like, I think that was a little bit like for the cameras. Do you know what I mean? To be like, yes, she's really manly. Oh, she's so manly. She's got a 48 inch dong, girls. Priest. She needs to be a swan. Like, what is the angle they're going to go for here? I can already, in fact, I don't even need to ask. I can already see it. Because I'm protecting against that inner self-doubt and that nervousness and it comes off as this just overbearing confidence begin raising your upper body forward to or be would you ever say that to a man would you ever say oh you've got overbearing confidence to a man would anyone ever say that to a man there is this real like um is the word duality i don't know if it is a real double standard that's the word i'm looking for if a woman in control and in charge says that something has to be done and her subordinates do not want to do it and they are male they will often call her a bitch for suggesting so whereas when a man is in charge people will look at him and be like oh that's a strong leader that is yeah he's he's a strong leader you wouldn't turn around and be like that man's a bitch and i hate that double standard i think it's disgusting just let women be powerful they're not bitches i don't feel confident in who i am or how i look I often have said that I'm, I'm built more like a man than a woman because of the thickness of my frame. You just have an athletic After build system. Storm, Don't I nod! Have... Don't nod! Oh, I've pissed it up now, girls! Janice Dickinson! I must issue an apology there. I got very excited and very into the storyline there and immediately felt the need to somehow change the file I had open without ever actually exiting the program and opening a new file. Don't know how that happens. Anyway, yes. Nodding, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're so manly, yeah. Stop it. After Desert Storm, I had sun damage, large blotches on both cheeks and on my forehead. And I would try to wear more makeup, and it's just gotten worse and worse over the, the years. The army left you with sun damage? I've had a lot of hardship just really recently, all coming at once. You've got such a cute little face. My cute husband little, and like, I have been features. separated and back together and separated. And there are some days that I think I'm okay with this. I'm coming to terms with it. I've accepted it. And then I'll just crash. <laughs> This show does like to make out as if, like, uh, a marriage coming to an end is, like, the worst failure you can ever imagine. And it seems to put all the blame on the women in the relationship. It's such weird language that they use. A failed marriage. No, it's a successful divorce. I feel like a lot of people get married way too young and realise that as they grow as people from their 20s to their 30s and beyond, potentially, that they are no longer on the same page. And that doesn't mean the marriage has failed. That means that it's time to start a new chapter. Failed is a very strong word for this. There's no such thing as failure, just successfully finding out ways to not do something. I'm going to cream. Oh, this pianist is getting played. And now I'm kind of no. left oh. on my own. Oh. I lost interest in her because <gasps> we, we weren't as active, because she wasn't comfortable with her body. When I take my clothes off, that's the first thing I see is my stomach. I mean, there was times that she would gain weight, maybe 20 or 25 pounds over where she wanted to be. I felt like he was more, and... more critical of my body. We didn't have the emotional side of things. Well, now we can't have the physical side either because he's not physically attracted to me, so we don't have anything. <gasps> oh, I... that little, like, chin wobble there, that is horrible and heartbreaking. I, the thing is, I'm in two minds about this, and, 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 and how'd your horses go? Let me actually tell you about why I'm in two, two, about why I'm in two minds about this. I firmly am in the, in the camp of, if there is something that you don't want to be in the relationship for, amicably come to an end, but d there is no need to insult people to stop a relationship. Like, you are an adult, you are more than capable of just saying, I do not think that we are seeing the same things anymore. I do not think that we're on the same page. You can be honest, but you don't have to be deeply cutting. There are ways of saying something such as, I'm no, like, the physical attraction has dwindled because of weight gain. There is absolutely things you can say for that. But also, in a way that's like, why don't we join the gym together? Why don't we make time together for each other? Because you aren't no catch either, sir. <laughs> He's already 
be dead. And this is where the double standard comes from. Do you know there is a statistic that if a woman or a wife gets ill, that her husband is like four times more likely to leave her than the other way around? This is the study on partner abandonment and it is linked in the video description. Men were six times more likely to abandon their female partner. Isn't that like disgusting? Absolutely disgusting. But I mind feeling lonely. And yeah, I do. Loneliness is a horrible feeling. Okay. Right, come Danny, on then, vultures. what are the keys to her transformation? I think she has to make a decision about what's good for her. It sounded like she was talking about something that he was choosing. You know, he's not attracted to me anymore. He might want to move on. She hasn't made a choice. Dr. Dubrow, she's a tough mm. chick. Dr. Iani actually made a good point there. She hasn't made a decision, yeah. If someone is like, I'm not attracted to you, sis, do not, do not try and fawn over them because you are giving them power and you are giving them far too much power than they deserve. And that... Power can, in men, sometimes manifest as conceitedness and arrogance. So be careful. I must also, I must also say that in these videos, I am not a misandrist by any stretch of the imagination. I like my men. I like my men to be adults about situations, so we say, though, because a lot of the guys that we seem to come across in these shows don't seem to be well-rounded men. I don't know if I'm quite articulating my thoughts there as I would like to, but I do actually want to put it across. I do not hate men. I do not hate men at all. I am firmly androsexual. I just think a lot of the patriarchal expectations of men need to be changed, should we say. Dr. Dubrow, she's a tough chick. And as she calls herself masculine, what's your plan for her? A brow she's lift. She's a handsome woman. The goal is really to make her a pretty woman. I'm gonna do a brow lift, a mid face lift, and some lip work, but her body has what about this woman's face needs a brow lift? A brow lift. A brow lift. Her eyebrows are going to be on her ankles by the time they've gone all the way around back, around her head, down the lower back, into the ankles, girl. <laughs> That's how high her eyebrows are going to be. Really? A brow lift? A brow lift? Why? A mid face lift and some lip work, but her body has massive lift. issues as well. So I'm going to do a breast lift, a really tight tummy tuck, and a lot of liposuction. She has so a lot her, of what, How is her body masculine? She, it's, she's a product of her job. If she's doing the army work, she's going to be a bit more, shall we say, athletic and stronger than a woman who's not in the military industrial complex. Shall we say? Hmm. 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 Pigmentation issues on her skin. We can do a series of photo facials, which will actually completely remove and even out her tone. Really? Okay. It should look amazing. Now, I'm, Debbie, okay. how That's do you get her that could be done. more feminine? She's so bulky and masculine. So I really need to lean her out. And her diet's going to have to change as well because that's a big part of it. Mm. Okay, then do you have hope for her? Three months is a short time. send her to that nutritionist. Yes, absolutely. Let's review her plan. Okay. Delisa's swan plan includes several procedures starting with her face. She'll her have face. a brow lift, mid face lift, lower eye lift, fat transfer to the lips and cheek folds, Ooh. and several photofacials to correct the sun damage to her face. I'm really excited to see how the fat transfer to the lips and cheek folds turns out. Have we seen, we, I suppose we have seen like fat transfer to the lip before, but I have personally considered also getting fat transfer into my nasolabial folds because at the moment I get filler here, but I would like something a bit more permanent that has the opportunity to like settle into the skin a little bit more. So I'm interested to see how that turns out. And I actually do think that the photo facials will, uh, create a, an outcome that she'll be very excited about. For a more feminine body, Delisa will have a tummy tuck, breast lift, as well as liposuction of the inner thighs. Oh! At the dentist, Delisa will receive- Is that all we've- Sorry, there's only one liposuction happening? Okay. I'm quite surprised about that, because usually the way that they were talking about her body, it sounded like they were going to do like a full body 19 area liposuction treatment. So I'm really surprised about that. Both upper and lower retainers to correct upper her and teeth. Lower she will also undergo zoom bleaching and deep cleaning. Okay. For her fitness plan, Delisa will be put on a 1200 calorie a day Nutrisystem diet and will spend two hours a day at the gym focusing on cardio and muscle toning. Okay. Delisa will and undergo how, weekly therapy muscle and coaching toning? to improve her self-esteem and work through it's her not problems enough. in her marriage. Work through? Okay, you mean just put him in the bin? Our next competitor. Confidence Lorraine building Norris, a 38 exercises. year old court clerk right. from Michigan. Court clerk? Ooh. Lorraine, you've been chosen to be a swan. Pizza! I oh, I want pizza. I'm shocked, really shocked. I'm oh. not just nothing. I will be something. Sis, you're not nothing. My whole life I felt like Cinderella before the ball, before the fairy godmother. I was totally abnormal childhood, so 
It was just me and my mother. And my mother did not know how to raise me, but I was terrified. Being called names and, and loser and you'll never amount to nothing, and it makes you feel worthless. It makes you feel oh like, my God. like you're nothing. I love her because she's my mother, and I know she didn't, didn't know me better. That's not true, sis. That's not true. A mother should never behave that way. That is disgusting. It's really hard to go to school and try to fit in and be normal. Because at home, it was so bad. Dr. Iani is not qualified. I hated it. She was like a teenager living in hell. They would just pick on me, throw stuff at my head, call me names. It was really tough. Why? Why are they like this? Why is why is like why is school like this? How is this allowed? How is no teacher allowed to just be like beat, beat up the bullies, beat them out? Because you could never get away with that in the real world. Why in school do we let children get away with actual like crime? Punish those children! I was all alone. She was a gorgeous girl. Her mother didn't take her for all her dental exams. I have dentures and I had to get them because we couldn't afford the dental costs of things and that was very humiliating. I remember them taking them out one by one and just knowing, oh my God, I'm 25, I have no teeth. So it's horrible. Oh my gosh, I've that never is ever shocking. felt pretty. I just look like a guy. I feel like I look stocky. I had four kids and... Sis, you do not look like a guy. You do not look like a guy. It is one of those things, though, where teeth do give, like, a structure to your face. So I think once she's has, like, implants, as we've seen earlier, that she's going to get, I think that her face shape will look so much more harmonious. And I think that's actually not a cosmetic procedure to want to have functional teeth. And you shouldn't have to go on something like the swan to have functional teeth. Ridiculous. My stomach's all blown out. If my husband tells me I look good, I don't believe it. Even on my oh, own wedding look. day, I felt ugly. When I give her a compliment and she just totally pushes it away, it upsets me because I'm really serious. I think she looks good in what she's wearing, but she really doesn't believe me. I worry about, will he still want me? Is he still going to love me? Is he going to find someone younger? Because I think, how could you really want to be with your wife? She's fat, ugly, flat-chested, and when you feel so uncomfortable in my own skin, I can't stand it. I hate it. Oh, that's relatable. Feeling so uncomfortable in your own skin that you hate it. Oh, sis. Oh, Lorraine. Oh, this is a heavy episode, isn't it, my loves? This is really heavy. Lots of things that we can, um, well, I find myself relating to. Masculine body, hating your own skin. What was that face? Did Dr. you see Worth that? Dr. Worth, she lost all her teeth due to decay at such an early age. Have you ever seen a case like this? That is very rare, especially at that young age of 25. I'm going to be doing a full mouth of implants on Lorraine and giving her a set of teeth that will never move again, that will look beautiful, and she'll be able to function with. It will change her entire life. Well, Dr. Hayworth, will getting her teeth done first affect your surgery on her face? The lower half of her face below her nose is similar to an 80-year-old. I'll need Dr. Worth to make a temporary set of teeth that I can use as a to guide. To an 80-year-old? So you work closely together? Absolutely. We'll Definitely. have to work as very close close partners here. I'm going to have to do a corner lip lift, correction of witch's chin, and finally body work where we'll be doing witch's chin. Sorry, is that a legitimate thing? Hang on, let me just I'm going to google correction of witch's chin. Oh my god, it actually is correction of witch's chin. It's an actual procedure. It's actually known as chintosis, witch's chin. Gosh, we really love giving things awful names, don't we? To really just boost the self-esteem, don't we? Wow. A breast augmentation as well oh, as an breast abdominal lift. plastic to really maximize Lorraine's full potential. Dr. Yanni, then there's the obvious childhood trauma of her mother telling her that she was worth nothing. You know, it's such a deep-seated wound. It's also starting to and happen you aren't in qualified. marriage where she doesn't feel it's truthful when somebody says something positive to her. We have to change that around in order for her to feel good as a person. And you think and once a week? A once a okay, week? Okay, let's recap her plan. Oh, God, here we go. Okay. Lorraine's swan transformation begins with her face. She will have a nose job, brow lift, a mid-face lift, fat transfer to her cheek folds and lips, a lip lift, liposuction of her chin and neck, and a chin reduction. Wow, that is a lot of facial of surgery. Of her chin and neck, and a chin reduction. 
that that my loves is a lot of surgery to have on your face in may i'm having four procedures done on my face for facial feminization surgery i'll be having my brow reduced my nose straightened my chin done and a tracheal shave but it is shocking to me to see a cis woman go through one two three four five six seven procedures on the face in one go is a lot she is going to be so swollen She's going to have such a huge recovery. Her body's going to be like, what on earth has happened to me? And they're going to put her on a 1200 calorie a day diet and two hours in the gym after recovering from this much surgery just on the face. Lorraine's dental work will be extensive. Oh, and the dental work. titanium implants on both her upper and lower This jaw, is not cosmetic. And that will anchor a new set of permanent teeth. For her body, Lorraine will have breast augmentation, a tummy tuck, and liposuction of the knees and hips. She will also be fitted with a diva hearing aid. To move past Diva her work. childhood, she will undergo weekly therapy and coaching. Weekly therapy is not so enough for it. this. Okay. It's absolutely not enough for this. Disgraceful. That's the one, girls! Los Angeles, Denise I've got Lorraine, Gang. The 12 Week Swan program begins okay. now. Oh, right. wow. Oh, they've got the same couch as that was in Queer Eye for the Straight Guy the other day. Oh, ochre. Everything is ochre. Her competitor Lorraine hopes to heal the scars of a difficult childhood. The women quickly learn rule number one of the Swan program. Ooh. No mirrors. Oh no. My God. All the mirrors oh. are gone. Oh. For Lorraine and Elisa, oh. the thought of being on their own for the first time. I've got the Swan curriculum just over there, my loves. A book that says this is what you're gonna say. We're gonna read some in the Where Are They Now? Right. Dear Mom, I can't believe you made it this far. It's like a dream. I Aww. couldn't be more proud of you. This letter means so much to me. It's going to um, give me strength and carry me through this. Remember, you can never be as beautiful on the outside as you are on the inside. Oh. <laughs> this is my new beginning. The first wow. step in Delisa's transformation this is a heavy begins with a visit to her plastic oh, I've got surgeon. Goosebumps. Overall, Delisa has a really nice shape, but she has a lot of body fat. So my goal is to really feminize her. So let's go ahead and take a look at your body, all right? Okay. All right, now, your tummy. If you're willing to accept a scarf, it will look like this. It'll be worth it. Sounds awesome. That's a flat stomach. So we'll do a breast lift, all right? And then we'll do some liposuction of the inner thighs, okay? So let's talk about the things we're gonna change about your face, okay? A brow lift would be really nice on okay. you. Freckles and brown spots. Uh, okay, so the way that he said there that it would like open up the eye, I can understand that. After talking to Dr. Gary Linkov and understanding that a lateral brow lift might actually be like better in most cases, and you don't need to leave like scars fully in the hairline where you're gonna experience like hair loss just for a full brow lift. I don't know. I don't know, you know. I'm still not sold on the idea that everyone gets a brow lift and that there's no real change in that brow lift. It's just one type of brow lift for everyone. I don't, don't, da, 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 ba, ba, da, da. Easy to get rid of. We're gonna do photo facials, after surgery, as well as a mid facelift. Oh, rotate and a lift the lady. Lift. Okay. Really Ooh. Look amazing. They cut that out there. She, they, he didn't say that to her in the office. I wonder why there, Dr. Dubrow said that they were gonna do a lip lift and a mid facelift. Uh, not to her in the chair, but over this overlaid section. I wonder why. Did you reckon he maybe didn't say it and then changed his mind like an hour later or something and was like, Oh, actually, no, I think this would also really benefit you girls. And that's why they've done it this way, because even the tonation of the voice sounded overlaid there rather than he had actually explained to her when she was in the chair. I wonder how this is going to turn out. You're really going to look amazing, okay? So I look forward to doing this, okay? All right, Captain. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this, all right? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. I could have danced and sang in the office. He's awesome, and I'm uh, so excited. While Delisa is overjoyed to shed her masculine military image, oh, get a the grip, Amanda. Of Lorraine's physical transformation begins at the dentist. Okay. I've had dentures for about 13 years now. You can't really enjoy your food. You can't bite into anything like apples. I have to cut everything into pieces. Let me explain the process of the implants. Okay, I'm interested. An implant is basically a titanium screw that's stuck in your bone uh -huh. that we then put teeth on. So once we get the implants in, there's about a five week healing period there. And then after that five week period, we put your teeth in. They will look 100% natural. Yes, I am They'll so look excited. really incredible. Okay, all right, five you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Five weeks of healing before you put the teeth in is quite, I didn't know that. I didn't know that there was 
you do an implant and then it's five weeks of healing. So do you have temporary teeth in that five weeks or do you just literally have like titanium screws as teeth? Fascinating. And we know that Dr. Sherry Worth is a complete falsification lady when it comes to explaining the dangers of veneers. So I wonder if there's any particular downside to implants that she's not telling Lorraine here. Anybody who's had dental implants in the audience, please let me know if you ever explained like any side effects and if they've changed your life for like are they a most amazing turn of event skills? Because I would like to know. I would really like to know. Today I'm collaborating with Dr. Moody, who's an implant Dr. specialist. Moody. Okay. Oh. Lorraine does not have very much bone. Oh. She has been without teeth for so long that the bone has worn away from her dentures. This is the most work I've ever had to do on a swan. The bone has worn away Today, from her dentures? Today, Lorraine received 18 titanium implants. I'll have to see her more than a dozen times before she's ready for her permanent teeth. A dozen! And she has to stay on a liquid diet. This is a only the beginning of a challenging transformation for Lorraine. That sounds so challenging. A liquid diet, five weeks of healing, 12 dental appointments, 18 implants. Wow. That, my loves. That, to me, that's the most dramatic, like, overhaul we've seen in The Swan so far. I know that on Laurie's episode, they said that Laurie received the most surgery. But that, this, what we've just seen, is... So intense. Even just this one thing of like giving her a great swan smile with massive teeth that are pageant ready is just so much already. That is so much work. And it's not cosmetic at all. This is the only time in which I'm like, yes, this level of work should have been done. Meanwhile, Delisa faces her first oh. hurdle, the swan diet. So tell me about some of the Look foods that you feel that you're craving. Sweets. Your sweet. Giant sweet tooth. Okay. I have to have dessert after lunch and dinner. But I try to eat just little small portions, like a bite or two. Jump up on the That was shade. I tried to eat little portions like a bite or two. And then we cut to her literally eating like a full pint of ice cream, I guess. And the fact that then they were like, oh yeah, no, she even licks it off her top when she spilt it everywhere. And we're just about to weigh her now. Just about to weigh her. The, I don't like this Nutrisystem system lady because she's so, it's clearly a pyramid scheme. Clearly. Jump up on the scale. 152. You do have 22 pounds to lose. That's no easy feat. 22 pounds? That's not the most dramatic we've seen. And in three months, you could probably... Could you get close to... A healthy weight loss is between one and two pounds per week. How many weeks are in three months? Twelve. But you also got to account for like surgical healing. So let's say two months. That is quite a lot to lose for two months. But I wouldn't say it's necessarily impossible. But do you think that they filmed all of these nutritional system segments on the same day? Because this lady has the same take flight massive seagull collar that she's had every single episode that we've seen her in so far. The magic of television, girls. I've never been able to stick to a strict diet. So that's going to be the hardest part for me. Delisa learns she has her work cut out for her. Low and slow, sis. While Lorraine meets with Works her every time. surgeon. While her gums are healing, go. Lorraine can't wear dentures. This is going to give me a true sense of how... I want your gum patients. tissue. How are you? I started aging really fast, like around five years ago. Mm. And we have to reinvent your oral area. You're complaining about your witch's chin. Now, this is partially because your jawbone is resorbed so much. Mm -hmm. You don't have any support to all your lower face. To correct that, I will do a chin reduction and a lip lift. Okay. I'm just look at your body issues. So look how loose it is. This is the classic example of wearing the ravages of motherhood. To rejuvenate your body, I will do a breast... The ravages of motherhood. Wearing the ravages of motherhood. Wow. Wearing the ravages of motherhood. Again, Dr. Hayworth, who surprisingly decided to make an appearance this episode, has such a way with words that makes me just kind of go, well, your mum went through the ravages of motherhood to have you here. So why would you say it like that? Wearing the ravages of motherhood. Oh, it's just gross, isn't it? Oh, I've had lipstick on my teeth this whole time. Uh, Wearing the ravages of motherhood. Get a grip. Augmentation, Get a real job. Tuck and liposuction in two areas. Nice two to meet you. Nice great. to meet you. Thank you. It's the night before surgery and Delisa's failing marriage is weighing heavily on her mind. They absolutely love this light shot in this hotel where like one light turns on and it's like, oh, she's awake at night thinking above her Davenport about the life she could have lived. Like, it's very that, isn't it? Like, this is a weird segment to have. And then Amanda's like, her failed marriage, their failed blah. 
failures fail fail girls uh, i guess i'm having a little bit of a hard time tonight because i was told i could have a phone call but i don't really want to call my husband he told me he'd talk to an attorney and i guess that means he really does want a divorce so i just feel a little bit isolated and lonely today There you go, see, like, turn the light off, like, she's died. Meanwhile, Lorraine's pain is keeping her up. Oh, it's the same Still shot. With no teeth, and probably have about another five weeks to go. Oh. And that's really hard. Oh. It's hard to not be able to eat solid foods or bite in anything. Okay, tomorrow I have surgery. I'm excited about that. I do find it weird that they've given her subtitles. The next morning, like, Delisa's army spirit kicks in. I don't think in. she's difficult gonna be brave. to hear. Right, the okay, the army spirit. The glamour into the soldier. We're gonna do the tummy tuck and some inner thigh liposuction. Yes. Okay, and the facial surgery is gonna be a brow lift, lower eyes, and we're gonna do some chin liposuction. Okay. Oh, dear. You are marked. Right. You are ready. Let's oh, do dear. it. Bye bye, old Delisa. I'm looking forward to the new me. Just go ahead and put Delisa's stomach. Liposuction will help her take it to the next level and make her body look really great. Okay, let's get started on the brow lift. Shaving the lady. This is the coolest procedure on the planet. I really think it's gonna open up and brighten her eyes. The coolest procedure on the planet. No wonder why we've got our answer as to why everyone gets one now, haven't we? The coolest procedure on the planet, a full brow lift. I think we understand why now. Dr. Dubrow loves his brow lifts. Hmm. Okay, we're done. Oh, oh. A Delisa stripper. Had pretty extensive body surgery today. The rest is up to her in the gym. Oh, thank you so you're much. You're welcome. Oh, you're the best. It's so worth it. Oh. And I haven't even seen myself yet. <laughs> she already must got feel a, a bit different. Attitude, and that will help her through a difficult recovery. Across town, Lorraine is feeling anxious to get her procedures underway. Lorraine, guess who I brought? Dr. Worth! I fabricated a simulated set of teeth so that Dr. Hayworth has a framework to do a facial surgery around. Good luck. You're going to do a great job. And um, thanks. Thanks so much. Okay. Have a nice nap. And you're going to wake up a swan. As the one goes. Yeah, we've installed the wings now. and the beak. Lorraine's chin. Oh. You can see the difference already just putting the stent in going to add fat to bring some more weight to her lower jawbone to give her more of a, an appealing look. Oh, an appealing Perfect. look. Not exotic and sensual, no, just an appealing look. Okay, Dr. Hayworth. What I'm now doing is uh, starting her tummy tuck. Lorraine okay. has had four children, and she has a lot of loose skin four around children. her abdomen. Four children. Okay, we're going to close her up now. The ravages of motherhood, Everything girls. Everything went simply splendid. We did a lot of work on Lorraine today. The lower half of her face has been completely rebuilt and it's gonna be a tough recovery. Yeah, it is. That's a lot of work to do. That's the one, girls! Oh, Los When we left our swans, uh, Delisa, an swans. army captain on the brink of divorce, had undergone several difficult procedures to soften her facial features and feminize her body and came out in great Hi, spirit. She did, actually. So... Worth it. She could have been like Our anesthetic high Lorraine though. has endured brutal dental surgery, extensive facial reconstruction, and is suffering severe headaches because of oh. all the surgery. Oh, severe Hi. headaches. Good morning. I hear that you're not doing too well today. Huh? Oh, I had a rough night. Where's your pain? Right there. Yeah, that's right where the mid face is. Behind my eyeball. It's going to be a really difficult recovery for Lorraine. She's had extensive facial surgery on top of radical dental work. She may not heal in time for the pageant. I don't give a shit about the pageant girls! Shoot some pain medication through these drains before we pull them. That should help you. Okay. Okay? And I'll break the cycle of the pain. Thank you. Delisa, too, okay. is suffering from one of the hardest parts of the SWAN program. That seemed like it was actually quite a moment of humanity for Dr. Hayworth there when he was kind of. But he did kind of say it in a way that's like, yeah. Yeah, we'll give you some, uh. We'll give you some stuff for that, girls, yeah? Oh. <gasps> Disgusting. Like, it was very that, wasn't it? Oh, I will never do that again. That has taken me to a place I feel disgusted about. Right, what's happening with Delisa? Recovery. It just kind of sucks having your face beat up. I got so nauseous. Feeling like you're going to throw up every couple of minutes. Ugh. Mm. 
it's a completely new experience for me to be kind of at someone else's mercy and actually it's part of why I became an officer. Hey, I don't really like being told what to do too much, so I just had to kind of swallow it and go with it. Well, yeah, well, but that's Delisa exactly what this kind of is. Through. Struggles to pull Lorraine's through. Lorraine's gums are still healing from surgery, so she must remain on a liquid diet. What the inside the of my mouth is like all cut. It smells <gasps> like hamburger meat. Ooh. I felt like I was gonna die. Oh my the God! Today I just had milk with a smashed up banana. That sounds repulsive. It's like being in a convalescent home and feeding like 80 year olds or something. There's food going everywhere. Mm. I really don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> Meanwhile, Delisa is... Wow. I feel so much for Lorraine here because unfortunately with something like implants, like it, as I said previously in this entire episode, it's a medical procedure rather than necessarily a cosmetic or a plastic surgery. In fact, I would probably say it's more plastic surgery, isn't it? Because plastic surgery is about the reconstruction of something, whereas cosmetic is about like the change. All cosmetic surgery is plastic surgery, but not all plastic surgery is cosmetic surgery, my loves. Did you know that? The more you get. Meanwhile, Delisa is faced with a day she hoped would never come. The arrival of her divorce papers. Oh. This is urgent for you, okay? Okay. Thanks. Oh, you had to be there to film it. Yeah, great. Of course you did. Yeah. Yeah, everything changes in black and white. I was expecting it, I knew it, but that's eight years in 11 pages. <sighs> this goes here and that goes there and it's all neatly done. Our swan coach checks in to see how Delisa is handling the news. Can I come in? She's I going saw to eat you. <laughs> I really don't, I've been oh. there. I really know what it feels like. Oh, is she it's having a painful. human moment it's as very, well? very, very painful. Okay. But he's gone. He's obviously awful. Awful. Goodbye. No time for hateful men. I thought I was poor. It hurts now, but you're going to flourish. You're going to show them all. And that goes for anyone in the audience struggling with something like this as well. It may hurt now, but you're going to flourish. I thought I was more ready for this. You're yeah. never ready. Delisa just broke my heart because there's some things you can't coach somebody through. You just have to let them feel it. She's always in charge. She's always tough. So when someone like that lets her guard down, her pain is just immense. And it touched me. It really did. I was so Are we having a human episode of The Swan? Are we having a human episode of The Swan? I cannot believe there. My heart went out a little bit for Nelly Galan, the creator of this entire madness. And I'm like, oh. Oh, that is a shame. It just made one of the hardest things in my life a little bit easier. Wow. Oh, that's it. The ring is in the drawer. She's on the game. Meanwhile, Lorraine calls home looking for some emotional support. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Jimmy's here. Ricky's upstairs and they're watching TV. Well, it sounds like there's a big party going on over there with everyone hanging out. Either every time I call on Sunday, everyone's all over the house. I'm not there. I'm over here suffering. Did you miss me? Do you? No! Get I'm in the bed! I'm right now. I don't want to say nothing. Babe, I wish you could really understand what I go through. Whatever. Oh, I have to go. Get over it. Yeah, what you go through. All right. They probably don't miss me. Everyone's just hanging out at my house. Because... She has teeth there. She has teeth. Are they, do you think they're the, they're the temporary ones, I guess, right? They must be. But ugh, the idea, the idea that her husband is just like having parties while she's away seems very nefarious to me. They're just having a good old time. I'm really angry. The rain is frustrated. The separation from her family is bringing up issues from her past. Oh, here we go. Lorraine is still dealing with a lot of pain from her childhood, so she easily feels angry and rejected still. Her mother was very abusive, physically, verbally, emotionally. I'd like to help her confront those issues with her mother by using a role play exercise. Okay, right, yes. You still not, not sure how I feel. You me second best. And I felt like you didn't want me. So you made it hard for me to be a strong, well-rounded adult. You made me scared, timid, afraid. So I want to try to make things better. Oh, gosh. Good. How's that feel? While Lorraine confronts her past, Delisa heads into therapy to work on her future. Oh, I just... Delisa's marriage is over on paper, but emotionally she still needs closure. So to get that, I've asked that she write down her feelings in a letter to Jason. 
I don't know how we can cut. Like, I've got goosebumps again. I've got, I've had swan pimples twice this episode, my loves. We all gotta die of something. <laughs> I do not like the idea of therapy being televised. I think it is a huge invasion of privacy because there's going to be some things that you just don't want to say because you know it's going to appear on TV. So how deep and how helpful can this therapy really be if the client or the patient rather, should I say, is going to be naturally wanting to hold things back because they don't necessarily want all of their dramas aired on TV because you know the production is like, oh, we're just waiting. We're going to wait for you to say something we can just exploit girls and be like, oh, yeah, well, her failures. <sighs> it's a lot, isn't it? I'm not sure how much sadness or hurt I feel yet. I do know that we've been headed down this divorce road for some time now. Mm -hmm. I guess it just felt like a parting blow. One last snub after nine years full of them. I fear we both wasted a lot of years settling. I'm not sure we'll actually remain friends, as you mentioned once, but I'll always respect and admire you. Oh, I wouldn't bother. Lisa. Bye. Trash I takes itself out. And I have a new sense of self. Good. Delisa is making progress. Hmm. That was it's the very morning quick. It's Lorraine's final dental surgery, and oh. she's paralyzed with fear. <gasps> Our swan coach arrives Hi. to lend support. When I went to the dentist, it was very, very, very painful. So I'm like really terrified and oh. I don't think people realize how devastating it is when you lose your teeth, what you have to do to get teeth back. Yeah. But I'm so glad to be here. Like I wanted oh. to come here. I wanted to do the program. I want to be strong. So I, I'm just gonna. Like, I don't have a problem with cosmetic work and plastic surgery. I do not. What I have a problem with, as I've said multiple times before, is the idea that this goes through a reality TV competition. This isn't for the benefit of these women. This is for the benefit of a pageant to make money as a franchise of television shows. Do you know what I mean? Like, if this hadn't have stopped at the end of season two, this would have gone on and on and on with all different kinds of people, men, children, women, babies, the swa- the gosling girls, and it would have- the signet girls, and it would have just gotten so out of control, and so many- and it's- the thing is, it's like, so much work is done in such a small amount of time. It's so extreme to the body. If this was done over the course of 18 months, maybe I'd feel a bit different about this show. Do you know what I mean? Like, maybe if this was like a whole team of people came in and just really coached you through how to completely transform your life in an actual meaningful way over 18 months to give you everything to be a real success story. Imagine how incredible this show could be. But no, this show is glamorizing shortcuts and kind of putting this lacquer over it and saying that like the shortcuts are the way that the world works and that's not correct at all because these women after they finish the swan program and the pageantry and blah de, blah de, blah they go back to their lives they go back to their lives with no aftercare and then we saw in the last season that beth lay had ended up putting on a little bit of weight and she felt so deflated from that because she just you know, without choice of her own, she'd gone back to her life because that's what this show says. This show kind of invites people in, gives them shortcuts to fix everything and then pushes them straight back into their life with their normal habits, the normal people around them, the normal surroundings, the normal work life. I don't know if that, I, I don't agree with that. I just don't, I don't, fu I fundamentally do not like that. I do not think it works. If you're going to do a show with this, make it an actual experimental show that takes years to complete and not months. I want to be strong, so I, I'm just going to tough it out and take it and get it over with. I just can't wait till it's done. Remember, nothing that is good in life is, it's, it's, it's always a lot of work and it's hard. I must say, though, this brow lift, I, maybe I spoke too soon because I love this kind of like, upswing snatched look she's got going on. I think she's gonna look incredible. With new determination, Lorraine faces her fears at the dentist. It's gonna hurt and it's gonna be strong. Hi, Lorraine. Hi. So when you leave here today, you're gonna have a full set of teeth. Oh my God. So you can just sit back and relax and go ahead. Right. Open She's got lovely hair as well. All right, what's this? Lorraine, so we're getting just a fitting? cement ready and I'm gonna go ahead and put your teeth in permanently. Okay, Lorraine, these just have to harden. We're all finished. They'll get to have teeth in there. Okay. Thank you. I think it's been 13 years since I've had my real teeth. This is awesome. It's very great. It's just I'm, I'm emotional with everything. It's been oh. a really hard road.
I wonder if cleaning dental implants is the same as cleaning your own natural teeth. Because I'm actually, it kind of looked like she put like a whole row of teeth in in one go there. So I'm assuming there's no gaps between them, which means that maybe flossing isn't necessary. I, like, but like, how can you be sure that like underneath there isn't going to be like, I don't know, like things are getting underneath the implant. I don't know. I don't know. How do dental implants work? This is something I'm going to look into. Across town, Delisa, the army captain, Thanks. is losing the Battle of the Bulge. I knew it was going to be a bad week. She heads to the gym to work off the last crucial pounds. It's been almost two Angel years since I've really worked out hard. Hi. Delisa tells me she's tough, and I guess I'll find out just how tough she is. This is the first They're time we've seen, like, an actual gym thing. Oh, yeah. So, come on. Crank those legs. Come on. And we're gonna have to really waltz with up. surgery. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Push it. Ugh. In a public gym. <laughs> the mirrors are covered. I think Look her in the background. Challenge is gonna be cutting out those sweets because she has such a sweet tooth. Hey, it's crunch time and sugar's my enemy. So I had to throw the dessert bars out. I just have to kind of rein myself back in. On the Swan. The Swan Girls. Everyone will make it to the pageant, girls. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. We're here. Jeffree Star's house. Well, not anymore, so... Ugh. Welcome back to the swamp. Ooh. Now, it's been a month since we've seen Delisa and Lorraine and three months since they've seen themselves. It's a long way... I don't know if I like this dress, but she is firmly caressing the banister this week, my loves. She is fully made up. She's back in the relationship. The banister's back from the farm. She is fully together. I, I don't know if I like this dress. I'm un... Undecided, shall we say? It is nearly over. She hasn't got a necklace on. In just a moment, we'll finally see the Why results not? of their transformations. Ooh. But before the big reveal, let's check in with the team of experts who okay. radically transformed these women. Okay. Experts. Now, Delisa is a captain in the Army Reserve who was served divorce papers while she was on the SWAM program. Absolutely How did she cope unhinged. with that, Dr. Yanni? I think Delisa was surprised by the level of intensity and the emotions that she still had remaining about her marriage, but she worked through those and we were able to help support her while she took her first few steps to independence. And Dr. Dubrow, okay. did you help her find her feminine side? I okay, think great. so. Delisa's femininity was just below the surface and it took a little bit of chipping away to bring out a really feminine and beautiful sculpture. Well, we'll see the transformed Captain Stars in just a few minutes. Well, right, are the we time ready? has come, experts. Here she is, the brand new Delisa Styles. Delisa Styles, come on, open the gateway, man servants. Oh, plunging glamour! Oh my gosh, her hair looks lovely. Actual curls. Oh my god, it looks like she's wearing lenses. She does oh, look ooh. a little older, though, Come I here, think. Let's get a chat. You look absolutely stunning. Thank wow. you. How are you feeling? Oh, Your face is some so butterflies, small. but oh, terrific. Yeah? Oh, it's been... A that is hair done right, although it does have a bump it in. Bump it up with Bump It. Get that salon style look fast and easy. But I think this is one of the nicest hairstyles we have seen on this show, full stop, actually. An amazing journey. Um, I feel oh, her like her eyes are a lot more a open. Whole person. What was the turning point for you? Um, I think after my divorce papers came, um, her I kind of realized really I had to as well. do something Difficult for myself to tell with makeup. And, and get focused and take this opportunity because it'd never come again. Well, yeah. talking to you now, I can tell that you're kind of dying to see yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Delisa, take a deep breath. See that curtain? Behind it, there's a mirror. And when you're ready. We'll pull back the curtain, you'll be able to see yourself for the first time in three months. Off you go. Okay. okay. Here we go, girls. Here we go. Da, da, da. Illuminati! Uh, 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 uh. Disgusting curtains. A horrible lamp and a bubbly is disgusting. Come on, okay. girls. Okay, this is it, Delisa. You ready? Come on, Delisa. I'm ready. <gasps> Oh, I'm getting emotional. Oh! <laughs> Get a grip. Wow. <laughs> My goodness. It's amazing. No manly body now, sis. Oh. 
Tell me you're happy. Oh, so much for the strong army girl. <laughs> I can feel wow. more girly. <laughs> I feel great. What's the favorite part of your transformation? I really like the subtle changes in my face. I love my eyes. Well, you've this changed on the outside, and you've also made a time. dramatic change on the inside, too, Delisa. Congratulations. And Thank you. Everybody here, I think, wants to give you a big hug and say, well done. Wow. Delisa came here like a guy in the army, and she's leaving like a... Nelly Galan, you look like a guy in the army now. <laughs> Grandma from the dinosaurs. I knew Delisa was going to look really good. I didn't think she looked that incredible. Possession. I mean, she's a babe. Jeff Christian. Right, okay. Right, now it's time for Lorraine's reveal. Okay, that was emotional. Goodness me, girls. We just saw Delisa's big oh, reveal. The sorry. other woman striving to move on to the Swamp Pageant tonight is her competition, striving. Lorraine Norris. Well, team, Lorraine presented some unique challenges. Dr. Worth, you managed to reconstruct her entire mouth, but what challenges lie ahead for her? I just wish it wasn't Dr. Lorraine Worth doing it. Lorraine came to the Swan program Scam. with no teeth, so she was functioning with nothing in her mouth. Mm. Now that she has a full set of implants Who's that and woman? teeth... Who's that? Who's this woman on the edge with the, with the fringe and the MySpace hair? Who's that? Who are you, madam? And there's a woman in a power suit next to her. Who are these people? Who are they? She has a full set of implants and teeth. Who's extras? She needs to learn how to laugh. Talk, Paris eat, Hilton and look most alike. importantly, take care of a new smile. And Dr. Hayworth, how important was it for you to orchestrate your surgical plan mm -hmm. with Dr. Worth? Well, Lorraine had a collapsed mouth. No lips, no teeth. So it was vitally important that no I lips, worked with Dr. Worth no teeth. so that she built a foundation mm -hmm. of beautiful teeth, which I then framed with a set of sensual lips. Well, oh, we'll see the results. He did give her sensual lips. It was just me and my mother. They love that shot, don't they? They're like, oh, Zoom. we're going through the TV. Right, here we go. Okay, team, it's time. Here she is, the brand new Lorraine Norris. Oh, come on, Lorraine. <laughs> Open the gateway. Oh! She's got a highlight. Not a hateful shoe inside. Well, I can't really see her yet. How are you doing? Is she a bit overwhelmed? Come on, let's have a chat. Oh, Ooh. Lorraine, honestly, I can safely say you look absolutely nothing like your former self. So when you came to Is the same program, dress? what were you expecting to get out of it? I just felt tired and ugly and old. To actually think I'll like what I see when I look in the mirror is going to be amazing. How do you feel on the inside? I wonder if she's having a bit of difficulty adjusting to implants. Do you need, like, speech therapy after you have something as dramatic as implants, dental implants? I wonder if you do, and they haven't provided that here. I have self-confidence and self-worth. I feel like I look beautiful. You look amazing. Thank you. Well, Ryan, I know mm. you really, really want to oh, see Oh, I love yourself. an off-shoulder moment. See that curtain up there? Yeah. Behind it, there's a mirror. So I'm gonna mirror. ask you to step up, and then when you're ready, we'll let you see yourself. You okay? Come on. All right, Lorraine. Come on, Lorraine. Off you go. Good luck. Oh, they are some piano highlights, girl. Oh, Illuminati pianos. Why have they turned her mic up? Okay, Lorraine, this is your moment. That Are you was ready strange. for it? Punch it, go on. Yes. Smash! Come on, Lorraine! Sod the curtain budget! Oh my god! Oh my god, I don't even look like me! Oh, look at those teeth! Oh my god! I can't believe it. <laughs> oh. oh, God, I look awesome. Oh, my God. You guys are genius. I wouldn't go quite that oh, far. Oh, Lorraine. Oh, my God, I look totally different. I, I don't look like me at all. <laughs> I look like a stranger. But a, a gorgeous stranger, right? Oh, my God, I look awesome. My husband is going to freak. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Oh, thank you so much. You guys, guys awesome. come on in. 
I was very pleased with Lorraine's results. She was an extremely difficult dental transformation. Wow, that is quite... And now quite... she's smiling and she feels good about herself. That is quite intense. You look beautiful. Oh, you look so gorgeous. Oh. Lorraine's results exceeded my best expectations. Sherry's work in combination with my lip work produced an amazing result. She's got a very buxom woman, isn't she? Wow. Right. Just before we move on to see who's going to go to the pageant girls, I just want to talk here about those two reactions there. Because those reveals and reactions, I feel, were positive. I genuinely got a feeling of, like, positive outcome there. The first reveal, Delise's reveal, I thought, I, I felt was much more of, like, a an emotionally overwhelming positive. You know, with that kind of, like, she kind of, like... It felt very much like a crescendo of emotions has happened, but they're all positive. And actually the same with Lorraine, although I feel like Lorraine's was a lot more like a, a shouting level of excitement, like a yes, thank you so much, rather than like a <gasps> do you know what I mean? But I, either way, both of those are such positive outcomes. The last couple of episodes, we've seen really positive outcomes. So I'm actually, I'm very thankful that there is positive outcomes because we all know there are also less than positive outcomes on this show. Here we go. The pageant, the gown. Welcome back to the swan. Well, tonight we've hello. seen two women truly blossom. We are. Now we'll find out who our judges in consultation Get with our experts pageant. have chosen to go to the swan pageant. Will it be Delisa or will it be Lorraine? Before we bring them out, let's take one final oh, piece. And here they are now. All right, here they are, girls. Reveal Gentlemen. the tarot doors. Manservants, actually, Amanda. Why is there that bush outside now? Oh. They look very, Amazing. like, similar styling, don't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. But only one of you can move on to the pageant with a chance the to pageant. be crowned the swan. Mm. Now, the along swan. with that title... The swan. To be crowned the swan. Sorry, it's just hit me again. This whole thing is called the swan. <laughs> <laughs> to be crowned the swan. Comes cash and prizes worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Worth absolutely oh. nothing. <laughs> You've been judged on beauty and poise Great. and of course overall and resting transformation. Bitch faith. This envelope, ladies, contains the name of the woman who will compete for the title. <gasps> okay, this is it. Are we ready? Are we ready, girls? Are we ready? Oh, a square tip French nail. The name of the woman who will move on to the pageant tonight is... Is... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think Delisa? Delisa Styles. Ow! 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 Congratulations. Ow! Ow! Why is this... Why is this painting in the background? Sorry. Why is this painting? Is this a woman just being like... I'm gonna beat you with my farmer's beat. Good heavens. So Lisa made to the pageant because she's changed internally and externally in the she's most She's got nine bumpets way. in. She just looks fantastic. And she does, that's true. I think Lorraine is probably okay with not making it to the pageant because I think she really got what she came here to receive. You don't to have to compete in that much absolute more confident nonsense. And more open to being a healthy partner. Good luck. Thank Still you. not beautiful Lisa, enough well for the pageant though, though girls. While I say goodbye to Lorraine. Oh. Mm. Lorraine, you are, as you know, absolutely gorgeous, and you've made such an incredible transformation. Yeah. You must be so proud wow. of yourself. Yes, I am. I'm very happy. And you have that gorgeous new smile to go home with. Oh, I'm so excited about the whole thing. Before we say goodbye to you, there are a few people who want to see the brand new you uh -huh. oh. and the brand new gorgeous smile that you have, okay? Come over here with me. Oh. Gentlemen. Oh, the music. The piano. Oh, it's you! Carty's in the house, making me feel sad. Oh, why am I so emotional? What is this? I don't have emotions, I'm dead. My wife looked great. When I walked out there, I was blown away. I oh. didn't even know what to think in my head the first time I saw her. I'm so happy to see you. You look great. Oh. oh! Not children. Oh, don't do it. I'll die. Again. My mom looked really young. Her body was awesome. Her hair was awesome. Oh. She is. <laughs> I thought she was like a whole different person. 
Oh, she's put her I'm lipstick on your cheek. I'm excited I've become since I've been here and who I will be when I get now home do the husband. in my future. Now do the I husband. I have a whole new beginning to look forward to. Delisa, congratulations, girl. Thank you. Oh, well done. Oh. Thank you. But we're not done with you yet because you oh. are going to the pageant. How do you feel? I feel great. Yeah? yeah. Tie you up in the well, basement. Good luck, okay? Thanks. Next week, the transformations continue as two more women compete for oh. a spot in the most original pageant ever devised. Oh, there's another Who will episode. Be named the Swan. That's the Swan Girls. That is quite a side boob we're getting there. Oh, goodness. Wow. Next week on The Swan. No. Wow. Wow. You can really dance. I've got a lot of opinions to share, my loves. Right, I'm going to take up my... Oh, hang on. I've pushed my laptop away already in preparation for this. So, my loves. What an episode that was. I feel like I may have felt very affected by the things I've seen today in this episode because of this masculine body storyline. And I am still kind of fighting with my aspects of my body that I consider to some extent masculine, even though, um, oh, I was about to reveal something there that I didn't, I'm not ready to reveal on the, into the internet just yet, my love. No, not going to reveal it. No, probably never, actually. I feel so emotionally... <sighs> roller coastered today, my loves. I feel like they were two very overwhelmingly positive outcomes. And I do find it very unbalanced that the woman gets to go away for four months and have this like process happen and just return back to just this guy who's just the same as when she left, but is still just as opinionated. And I don't mean that about any specific person in any of this show. I just mean that in general. Like, that's the vibe that I get is that this the woman is always expected to be the most glamorous, most like processed version of beauty that she can possibly be by being on this show. And then goes back to the man who's just like, all right, yeah. Oh, you look great. Oh, just me with my belt. Like, it's just a bit much, don't you think? Well, my loves, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode, because I'm I'm going to go away now and think about what I've done. <laughs> I'm going to go and get some tissues and have a moment by myself. Not like that, you slat. And with that, my loves, it's time for the Patreons. I want to say a massive thank you for allowing my channel to thrive and survive. You are gorgeous, beautiful, and loved, and always welcome here in my little community, my lovelies. If you want to join the Patreon, the link is in the description box below. You get access to multiple different kinds of perks, including a Discord and outtakes, my loves. Today's Twitch shout-out goes to Lulu Lu Pie. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays and I stream two nights a week, Monday and Thursday, my loves. Next week, I am back in London and you will not be seeing me in this outfit. <laughs> As we continue our adventure through the reality TV vaults, my loves. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Stephanie Neotupski, Laura Ali, Steph Utek, Orkos Samoji, Abigail Ash, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Craft Leaks, Danielle, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Igo Go Yubari, Jared Pavlovsky, Jen Martin, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Min Min TM, Moisten 98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Pink Caramel, Princess Lilium, Rachel V, Seabiscuit, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sasha Smith, Sexy Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Succubus Lena, Travel, Tromo, Victoria Carella, Victoria Waldock, and Zaya Naza. And with that, my lovelies, I want to leave it on the note of if you see anyone in your friendship group bullying someone for something that they can't necessarily just fix you know in 30 seconds you know maybe they've got i don't know disheveled hair or something make sure you stick up for those people because you never really truly know what someone's going through unless they tell you and a lot of us are keeping that secret closely guarded and with that my loves i will see you in the next video <laughs> oh <laughs>